Fleming's Left Hand Rule by kscience.com. These are two magnets, north and south poles facing each other, and a current carrying wire is placed in the magnetic field. The current flowing through the current carrying wire flows from positive to negative. The magnetic field runs from north to south. The current flowing through the current carrying wire flows from positive to negative. So there'll be a force acting on the wire that will move the wire in a certain direction. But how do we figure out which direction the force will act? Well, we use Fleming's left hand rule. This here is Fleming's left hand rule, whereby the thumb represents the direction of the force acting on the wire. Your first finger represents the magnetic field direction and your second finger represents the direction of current running from positive to negative, which means that the current is flowing in a downwards direction, as you can see here. Your first finger represents the magnetic field direction. The magnetic field runs from north to south, which means that the current is flowing in a downwards direction, positive to negative. Your first finger represents the magnetic field direction. The magnetic field runs from north to south. This here is Fleming's left hand rule, whereby the thumb represents the direction of the force acting on the wire out of the page in this direction here. The direction of the force is going perpendicular to the magnetic field direction and the current out of the page in this direction here. So now change the direction of the magnetic field as you can see here. Current is flowing in the same direction. Current is flowing in the same direction. So the magnetic field runs from north to south pole. We must orientate our left hand so our first finger runs from north to south. Our second finger runs from positive to negative, so that be down. And that means that the force acting on the wire will push the wire into the page perpendicular to the magnetic field lines. So your second finger is the current, your first finger is the magnetic field direction, and your thumb, in this case, is going to show the direction acting on the wire, which is going to go into the page, because the thumb is moving into the page, right angle to the magnetic field line and the current. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This here is a Laplace rail. It's a bar resting on two rails in a magnetic field with a current going through it. Let's use Fleming's left hand rule to determine which direction the force will act on the bar on the rails. This here is a horseshoe magnet and we've put a bar resting on two rails in between the horseshoe magnet. Current flows from positive to negative through the rails through the bar that's resting on the rails and then back to the negative terminal. Current flows from positive to negative through the rails, through the bar that's resting on the rails and then back to the negative terminal. The magnetic field lines go from north to south. The magnetic field lines go from north to south. So as you can see here, the first finger is the magnetic field line, so that'll be acting in a downwards direction. So that's my first finger. Then my middle finger represents the current. My second finger represents the current, and the current is coming out of the page, as you can see here. So what direction will the bar move? That's going to the direction of the thumb, the force. So that's going to be going right, from left to right. So as you can see, the bar that is sat on the rails is going to move from left to right. So as you can see, the bar that is sat on the rails is going to move from left to right. 
current flows from positive to negative through the rails, through the bar that's resting on the rails, and then back to the negative terminal. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So we've now turned the horseshoe magnet the other way and we've still got the metal bar resting on two rails in the magnetic field. But we've changed the direction of the current. The magnetic field lines go from north to south. So the magnetic field still runs from north to south and the current is flowing from positive terminal to the negative terminal. So let's use Fleming's left hand rule. The field is acting in an upwards direction, which is our first finger. So that's going to be our magnetic field from north to south. The current is flowing into the bar from positive to negative. Therefore, it is moving into the page. So our current is moving into the page, as you can see here. So the bar is going to move in the direction of our thumb, which is the force according to Fleming's left hand rule. So the force here is acting in a left to right direction. So the metal bar is going to be forced to the right. So the metal bar is going to be forced to the right. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.